Let's go down to the field for a report. Heidi, what did the players share with you heading into this contest? Well, Matt, with the series tied at one, it now boils down to a best of three series. The players and coaches told me before the game, there isn't a lot of margin for error. So focus and execution are going to be of the utmost importance. They also said that conventional strategy sort of goes out the window. So we may see some interesting and some difficult decisions being made by these coaches. And next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Michael Conforto. His past line against Aaron Nola. He has seven hits in 31 tries. He's also hit three home runs. In there, 0-1. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. And he takes a cold strike up and out over the plate, 0-2. Hey, you find yourself down 0-2. You've got to grind a little bit right here. I don't understand the game plan. Let's see if we can get this one back to even count. Swing and a liner. And he is going to have extra bases to start the fourth. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Wow, he almost yeah, blew that fastball by him, but he Wilson. shows some quick hands to Whoa. catch up to it and drive it down the opposite line. Didn't keep it fair by much, but he did, and that's a nice two-bagger. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The 0 1 on its way. That misses. One ball and one strike here to the Mets backstop. Conforto stands at second with no outs. One two is taken for ball two. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. Swing and a liner. And this is going to be a fair ball as it'll head to the corner. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's a two nothing ball game. Nothing fires me up more than watching an offensive player stay inside a baseball and drive it the other way. Here's Robbie Cano now. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Fastball called for strike two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Another 0-2 home. Hit hard on the ground to second. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. The first base so now first time will be called as we're going to get a visit Dominic. from the pitching coach here as he'll Man. hope to settle his guy down. Digging in for his second at bat, Dominic Smith. His past line against Aaron Nola. He's a 333 hitter. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. First pitch coming, here it is. Curveball just misses apparently, 1 0. Well, you know, giving up three straight hits is bad enough, but now it looks like he's starting to nibble a little bit. It's hard not to when you're getting hit, but you don't want to put yourself in bad counts. Fouled away. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. 
Well, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. He's had command of his pitches all day, hasn't walked a soul, but we find ourselves in a three ball count here. Want to see how aggressive he gets in the zone. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground the ball. Center fielder, number 12. Now at the plate, Juan, Juan Ligares. Ligares. He reached on a single in his first try. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Chopped now to short. Can they get two? Right to him. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Up next for the bat. The pitcher. So two men are on with one man out. And the pitcher strides into the batter's box. Here's Zach Wheeler. First pitch of the at bat on its way. In there, no balls and a strike. Well, that's a tough pitch to take right there, right down the middle. But I think that happens when you're facing a good pitcher like this guy. The last thing you're expecting is one right down the pipe. And unfortunately, he let that one go. And he'd like to have that pitch back to take a good swing at that one. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. And he fouls this one off. The next 0-2. This is pulled into right. Oh, and this kicks right off of them. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Up next for the bat, the shortstop, Andrelton. He now is Andrelton Simmons. His past line against Aaron Nola. He's gone just two for 15. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Popped him up. Franco over to his right. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. now Jeff McNeil will be the six. next to take a turn. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Hard hit ball to second. A diving effort as it's off his glove. But the recovery will come too late, and the bases are loaded now. That had to be in the scouting report right there. You don't see too many 0 0 breaking ball ambushes in the game anymore. He had to know that pitch was coming. Here's Juana Cespedes as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Even though we're still in the early going, I think this game's at a tipping point right now. They've got a chance to put this game out of reach, but if they can't score any more here, the other guys feel like the door's still open. And that is into right field, a base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Hey, this guy's having a big series in the, the right postseason. Field. It looks like right to me ball. that the moment Conforto. isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game down. He looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason monster right here, having a huge series. Any big leader can have their moment mid-May, but to do it when it gets cold outside means everything. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound, and he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll exit here this afternoon to a smattering of booze after what can be described as really a subpar performance. Juan Nicasio answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Stepping into the box, Michael Conforto. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five, another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. And he might get them all home as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. One run is scored. And he's in safely to third as two runs come across to score away from the play. 
You simply now cannot bad. offer up a pitch Pick like this to a hitter of this guy's magnitude, especially with runners on the bags. He makes a living off frozen ropes to the outfield like this, and that one drives in a pair. Standing in now, Wilson Ramos. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. In there, a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Man, it's the been like BP for Number these guys all game long. Robert Getting Smith. production from just about everyone in the lineup. That's the seventh run they played it in this inning alone. There's not much more else to say. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And this is low ball one. Seven runs have crossed the plate in the inning. This is on the ground over the first. A dive and he knocks it down. But they'll still manage to get the out on the force. And with that fine play, the inning comes to an end. But a big inning here is seven runs cross the plate. And this lead grows even wider. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Mets lead it eight to nothing. So next to the plate for the Phils, Cesar Hernandez. He leads off this half go. inning in what Philly. they hope will be a rebuttal to all those fans. runs they just Take gave up. Well, Matt, I think right, mentally they good. need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. And there to take this one in is Cano for the first down. The right Every Number pitcher three. loves to get quick outs, right. right? How about that? One pitch, Harper. one out, a pop-up to start the inning. And now Bryce Harper looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Wheeler gets the sign. Here's the first pitch. Lined hard down the line and right. But this will land foul as he didn't miss by much. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Harper swings and sends the ball well hit out to right. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper. His first homer so far in the series, and they're now on the board, though still well behind. First pitch to him is in there for a call strike one. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Behind 0 and 2 now. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at 2 and 2. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame him. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Slow roller down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. All even at 2-2. Two and two. Here it is. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way now behind him when the swing fielder. came through the zone. Oh, I have ball. to think he was looking for something oh, off right speed, right. and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 1. Herrera, a 27 year old, he was selected in the first round during the 2014 draft. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Splitter misses, and it's one and two now. 
One run, two hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. So one run on one hit, which was the home run, no errors, and no one left. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Mets eight and the Phillies one. Settling in now, Dominic Smith. He'll start off, off the, the fifth in this one. The first baseman, number 22, Dominic Smith. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Here's a fly ball, well hit. Williams is there. One pitch, one out. Now batting. At the, the plate, one Ligaris. He got on top of one and was Ligaris. a ground down victim last time. First pitch on its way. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. Hit on the ground toward the left. Bronco fields it cleanly. And quickly, there are two away. Now battle. The pitcher. Now to the plate, Zach. the pitcher, Zach Wheeler. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. Yeah, he showed like a little prowess with the bat right there, Dan. I'd be surprised if they don't attack him a little bit more carefully, this AB. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Quick work there as the Mets are down on four pitches, and it remains an eight to one ball game. Up next will be Nick Williams. He's go for one Phillies. thus far. This one doesn't look fielder. good so far. Nick. Down by a boatload as we enter Real the middle job. innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. JT Real Muto comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Fouled off. Here comes Wheeler's 0 2. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's 1 and 2. One run, two hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And he punches out another one, make it 9 for the ball game. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Into the box now, Michael Franco. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. His career line against Wheeler, just a one for nine. Well, he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Hey, after that terrible swing, you find yourself down 0-2. Step out, deep breath, adjust the batting gloves, flip a coin, and go all in on something. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. Phillies down in order. It's still an eight to one ball game. To the top of the Mets order, digging in Andrelton Simmons. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a liner. Well, this will be taken in out there at short, and that's the first out of the inning. Now batter. Ready for another Number shot six. now. Jeff McNeil. He's two for three thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And now the second pitch of the inning is popped up. 
over on the left side of the infield. Segura is there now, and it's two pitches, two fielder, out. Number 52. Here's the left fielder, Yoenis Cespedes. His lifetime line against Nicasio. He's 0 for 9. First delivery to him on the way. Grounded to short. On the first, and they don't come any easier than that. A three pitch inning, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets, and it remains an eight to one ball game. Andrew McCutcheon is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. That hits the outside corner. It's strike one. One and one to Andrew McCutcheon. He obviously wanted that call on the corner, but if he continues to put the ball right there, he's going to get that call and he's going to keep pitching as well as he is. Count is one and two now. The one two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Conforto giving chase, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. When you're struggling as a team to put the ball in play, every base hit is welcome, but a double will really help wake everyone up. That's just their third hit of the game, but it's a good one. Gene Segura standing in. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. He's set. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. McCutcheon leads off second with nobody out. Called strike 0 and 2. Segura behind on a 1 and 2 count. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0 2 fastball just off the corner. And I mean just off the corner. And another foul ball. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Now back, second baseman. Digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. One for two, including a double back in the first. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. So coming to the plate, Bryce Harper. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. Here comes the first pitch. Shot ground ball toward the hole. McNeil from the outfield grass. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. On to the seventh now in game three. Mets out in front, eight to two. Jose Alvarez enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Digging in and looking for more, Michael Conforto, who drove in two runs on a double in his last at-bat. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. Chasing after it is Herrera. He can't get to it. This one's down. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously one of them. Another the base hit leading off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason so far. Into the box, Wilson Ramos. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. So far, two for three in this one. Now Ramos with a swing and a deep drive to left. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. It's a two run shot to straight away left. His first homer here in the series as they've widened this lead to eight now.
Wow, there's a case of a ball up in the zone. Not the easiest pitch in the world to get underneath and drive it out of the ballpark. Good piece of hitting right there. Ball up in the zone. He didn't miss it. He destroyed it. The third base, number 24. Stepping in now, Robinson Cano. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Line toward right center. And Cano, don't you know, is going to reach. It's a base hit. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. Well, lefty on lefty, this is a tough matchup, but he stays in there, keeps that front shoulder closed, and just rips the pitch for a two-bagger. Nice job of defying the odds there. Standing in now, Dominic Smith. This is pulled into right. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. The relay. And he is out. Time for two bases, but credit him with a single and an RBI here. Sir Anthony Dominguez comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there on this one. Here's Juan Lagares. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting the at the plate, Zach batting. Wheeler, a hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. Here's a line drive, caught out there at short by Segura. Unlucky that time, and that ball will end the inning. So they pick up three runs on four hits here, no errors, and no one left. Bottom of the seventh now. Get up and stretch here in Philly. The Mets are out on top. 11 to 2. Digging in now, Reese Hoskins. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. On the ground to third. Cano has it. Oh, how about Cano? So one away after the phenomenal defensive effort. Great reactions on that one, and a good job to get down on the ground in time to smother it. Still had to get up and make a throw, and of course, he did that too. Into the box now, Odubel Herrera. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Well, he got the leadoff guy in the inning on a ground out, and now he's 0-2 to start this at bat. He looks really sharp so far to start the seven. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. The 0-2 is a breaking pitch taken for a ball one and two. And it's late his afternoon of work, and the longer this at bat goes, the better chance of him making a mistake. But as a guy starts to tire, they're more likely to leave the ball up. But man, he's been good so far. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. He's really racked up the strikeouts in this one. And this guy's been victimized three times already today. He and this lineup are clearly having a really tough time picking him up. In now, Nick Williams. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Tried to throw the fastball by him, but it's high, 1 and 2. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Ligares is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. That won't help much. It's 11 to 2. Now 
back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Andrelton Simmons. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Shin high, that's taken for a ball. Hit out towards second. To his left, Hernandez. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batter. Number six. Next for the Mets, Jeff McNeil. Couple of singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon. First offering on its way. Swing and a line drive. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Well, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been fooled right there, but he was now able to keep his hands Let's back and scramble a good pitch for a base hit. Stepping in now, Joanna Cespedes, as he'll go after the first pitch and line one into right field for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The right fielder, number 30. Ready Michael once again, Michael Conforto. Conforto. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Hard liner to center field. Is back and he'll get there to make the play for out number two. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. The catcher, number 40. Wilson. Next up from New York, Wilson Ramos. And they're runners at the corners now. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Into right field. That's a base hit. And the run is in to score from third. Sometimes it's hard to explain when a game is this lopsided. A lot of things just kind of snowball on you. One thing leads to another, a big hit, which leads to another, some bad defense, some shoddy pitching. Next thing you know, you look up, and you're on the wrong side of a whole lot of badness. Cano waits on the first pitch. And that's taken high and outside for ball one. Cespedes on second. Ramos on at first with two down. That's by him for strike one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And he fouls this one off. This is hit the other way out toward left field. After it is Williams, he tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Mets lead it 12 to 2. Into the box now, JT Real Muto. He's grounded out and struck out in his two trips to the plate. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now at the plate, Mike Franco. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Slider gets the outside. That's a strike. We're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight, and mechanically, he looks really consistent and fluid to me. Bases are empty, one man out. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. I mean, the obvious key right now is the movement on his two seamer. He's able to spot it up in when he has to. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. As 
we take a look at his numbers, a couple of things jump out at you. And here's the thing from a pitcher's perspective. You look at this line and you think, wow, he's been sitting guys down all game long, and that's true. But on the flip side, his pitch count is up there. You have to wonder if he might be starting to get a little bit tired in this one. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Drew Butera becomes two. out number two this inning. D. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Gene Segura, he could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. 0 and 1 the count. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Taken, but called a strike. The discipline has just been completely absent from this offense. Seems like they're always finding themselves behind the count. And, and the big reason why is they're swinging at all kinds of stuff that's not even in the strike zone. Tried to work it back to that low inside corner, but it misses one and two. A runner on first with two away. Lined hard toward right center. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Philly strand one, and this one rolls on. It's 12 to 2. Pat Nishak enters now in a mop up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. So stepping in, Dominic Smith. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. The first baseman, number 22. First pitch coming. Here it is. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. Nashik has proven to be a guy that throws strikes coming out of the pen and doesn't walk a lot of batters. Boy, to every manager and pitching coach, Matty V, they love to bring a guy in that they know one thing. He's going to throw strikes and not beat himself. And this guy is certainly not afraid to attack the strike zone. Fouled off. Not much behind this as this ball is looped over toward first. But an easy play there at first as that becomes the first out of the inning. The now in the box, Juan Ligaris. He flew out in his last at bat. First delivery to him on the way. Late square, and this is popped up. And he'll lunge forward to take this ball in the air. So quick instincts there will foil the bunt attempt. Jed Lowry will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Seared down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three. So they're unable to add to their 12 to two lead. You're Luis Avilon, a six now foot two inch left hander, jogs in to take over on the hill. Luis Avilon. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Cesar Hernandez starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count. At least for their own stats, you can't mill in your chances as a professional. Outside of home runs, nothing fires me up more than watching a good baseball player throw the ball in the opposite field. Talking about hitting the inside half of the baseball, that's exactly what happened right there. And when we say inside half of the baseball, imagine the ball coming to a complete stop halfway between home plate and the pitcher's mound, and then cutting that baseball in half and highlighting the inside half. That's where you're trying to take the knob of your bat or the hands to that spot and carve the inside half of the baseball with power. And it's fouled away. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Hernandez, base runner at first with one out. 
And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Lagares racing back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Now batting, Odubel Herrera in previous matchups with Luis Avilar. He's up for seven. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Two out with the man at first. And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. He's got it, and the Mets are going to take home field advantage right back. They win game three to go up two games to one as this one is over. So the Mets have put themselves in a pretty good position in this series. And for more on that, here's our reporter on the field, Heidi Watney. Well, thanks, Matt. After having won game three, they now have a chance to wrap up this division series with a win here today. Although they know that is no easy task. Their opponent is up against the ropes, and so they expect a really tough fight in this one. Winner-take-all games, like a potential game five in this case, are fun for all of us, but this ball club wants no part of that. They say they want to play like they are facing elimination in this Leading one instead of the, the other way around. The first baseman, number 22, Dominic Smith. Here comes the first pitch. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Harper is there and he'll bring this one in. The center fielder, number 12. Here's Juan Lagares now. He's got a base hit tonight. Lagares. He popped out in his first trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. There's the knuckle curve laid off one and one. Two and one to Juan Ligares. That's back to back breaking balls away but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. Here now the two two. Fastball and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Well, he's really been good all game now long until that one. He was definitely yeah. not trying to hit a guy Luka. when he's got two strikes on him. It just appeared that it got away from it. So here's the Mets pitcher, Seth Lugo. He's getting his first plate appearance of the game here in the sixth. Jed Lowry will grab a bat and hit Big for the pitcher for the here. Number four. Jed Lowry. Liner towards second. But well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. The batter, number two, shortstop. Andrelton. So the lineup flips over and digging in Andrelton Simmons. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fouled away.
one and one to the Mets leadoff hitter. Lagares is off of first with two away. And he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate and that'll be ruled a strike. The one two is looked at for ball number two. And that's low so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Good running count right here. Three balls two strikes two outs run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home line towards center field that's a hit the first of the game for the Mets now a long throw to third so now they'll have runners on the corners with two away the batter, number six. so striding in Jeff McNeil lifetime versus this pitcher it's a big enough sample size but he's just one for 14. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing in one. Comes set, and the 0-1 takes a pitch for strike number two. Sometimes guys get a little less aggressive pitching with a couple of runners on base, but not here. That was two good fastballs to take control of the bat and get the count to 0-2. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Two left for the Mets. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Ladies Paul Seawald gets the call to pitch please. here, and he'll try to sort now, this mess for out. For he's going to try to at least number eat a couple of innings for his guys. Seawald. Now with the plate, Nick Pavetta getting the hit for himself here, largely due to the big cushion he's got to work with. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. Yeah, guys, the key to hitting in the big leagues is to hit off the heater, and this guy is obviously sitting something else. Slow little roller to third. Throw on to first by Cano, and there's the first out of the inning. The batter, number two. One out for the, the Phillies in their half of the Gene. sixth, and that'll bring in the Go middle infielder, Gene Segura. No balls in one strike. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Right back at him, but I think it got his glove. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Now back, second baseman. Stepping in, Cesar Hernandez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Outside for a ball, one and one. A ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. And this is popped up near second base. McNeil is there, two down. Now batter, the right fielder. Right. And now Bryce Harper, Harper singled home a run in his last time up. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. You know, you look at this hitter, he doesn't care about being down 0 1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence, his ability to work back. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. One left for Philadelphia, but they're on top by a count of six to nothing. Digging in, Joanna Cespedes. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. You know, Matt, and every team has that one guy, and Joanna Cespedes is that guy for the Mets. Completely changes that complexion of that Mets betting order. Not a bad idea right there. Make this guy work and see if he can throw the ball over the plate. 
throws the first pitch for a strike. They need to get some runners on base and not a bad plan. Unfortunately, the pitcher came in with a strike on the first pitch. Here's the 0 and 2. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. He's just bringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. First offering on its way. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. Hey, this guy's having a big series now in the postseason. It looks like to me that the moment isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game down. And he looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason monster right here. Having a huge series. Any big leader can have their moment mid-May, but to do it when it gets cold outside means everything. Here's the catcher Wilson Ramos as he'll take one up in the zone but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now the 0 1 that's in there and he's deep in the hole now 0 and 2 sort of surprising to see a five hole hitter take two in a row for strikes to start in a bat now he's way behind the count so we'll see if he can battle back. Still no balls and two strikes. Conforto leads off second with one gun in the inning. And this one's in the dirt. toward the alley in left center. But this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. Here's Robbie Cano now. Runner in scoring position with two John. First pitch on its way. And oh looked inside but that's ruled a strike nothing in one. Two out here and a runner at second. Fastball called for strike two. Looking to send him packing again. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And he tries to get him to reach for it but it stays outside three and two. Wow this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and two to work the count back to three and two and he's seen a lot of pitches too. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. And Cano's able to lay off that time. He'll reach on the base on balls. Well, he loses him there, but that's just the first, the first walk he's given up, along with a couple of hits. So Dominated. his command has been pretty solid so far. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. No runs, two hits, one error in the game for the Mets thus far. In there, and it's 0 2 now. Here it comes on nothing and two. Swing and he popped him up over in foul territory back behind third. 
And Franco will make the catch to retire the side. Two left for the Mets. They still find themselves down six zip. And that will bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. He was a ground out victim last time up. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. It's a great job to lay off on that nasty slider right there. It's the toughest pitch. It was my toughest pitch to lay off of. I was always sitting fastball middle away, and when that slider came out, boy, did it look like a heater for a long time. In now, Odubel Herrera. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now the pitch. Came inside with the off speed stuff and it catches the corner. Not a bad take there on that first pitch. Not a real good idea to go up there looking for a changeup to hit. Sometimes you just have to tip your cap. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Into right field, that's a base hit. Hey, <laughs> Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, you'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a homer, a walk, or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. And he fouls this one off. He's two for three and looking for more here. A swing and a shot hit down the corner and foul though it had the home run distance. Here comes the nothing and two pitch line towards center field and that's in there base hit. Dan with that single he's now three quarters of the way to the hit for the cycle. This one still on the yeah. shelf though he's got to get a trip. Oh, yeah that dude said it Dero. that's one of those that's either got to hit right down the line or one of those tweeners in the gap. He has enough speed so if he can find a gap or find one down the line. Maybe he can do it and he was going to at least get one more at bat in this one. And a high strike there 0 and 1. He's working on a one for three thus far. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 and 2 now. The guy on the mound must have a different scouting report than we have right here. This looks like a beautiful situation for a double play right here, but he continues to pound up in the zone. And another foul ball. Herrera over at second. McCutcheon is over at first with one away. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. That's the third time in this game he's Look gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Philly six and the Mets nothing. Here's Juan Ligares. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how the starter's going about his business, That He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. First delivery to him on the way. And he takes ball one. Now a left-hander up and throwing in that Philly bullpen. This is line to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. As we take a look at his numbers, a couple of things jump out at you. Definitely, Matt. He's been throwing it by guys the entire game, but that leads to some high pitch counts, and that's the case here. After that hit, you have to wonder if he's starting to get a little bit fatigued. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err Your on the side of caution please. in terms of pitch, pitch counts. For the Travis Darno will 18. get the call here as he'll hit Travis. for the pitcher. Darno. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. No runs, three hits. One error in the game for the Mets thus far.
Line drive to left. And this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. Lagares rounds the corner and is headed home. And he is in there. Yeah, you want to applaud the effort as he sells out for it, but the smarter oh, move would have been that. to take a deeper the angle and cut the ball off. Handful he play. does that, and the runner Good probably way. doesn't score from first. On the flip side, great piece of hitting right there. In now is Andrelton Simmons as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh he's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Two well count the pitch in the dirt. It's three and oh now. Jeff McNeil will be next. The three oh is in there for strike one. The three one. And this is taken here for ball four. Just the second walk he's allowed into his eighth inning of work. The batter. Jeff the McNeil six. will be the next to take a turn. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. From the stretch. Line towards center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And not in time as the run scores. Here's Yuan Cespedes. And I think the question becomes how much longer are they going to stick with this starter? Fatigue could very well become a factor at some point. Yeah, that's always a tough question to answer for a manager, especially when your guy's still pitching well. You've got to kind of look for some signs. Is he starting to get hit more? Is he losing his command? Even if he's still throwing strikes, stuff like that. Yeah, good points to keep an eye on if he continues on much longer. This is one of those classic cases of the right guy at the right spot. They need to get a rally going, and this is maybe their best hitter, so he's the right guy in the right spot for this team right now. A ball and a strike now. Throw over to the bag, and he's back in standing. One one is swung on and missed for strike number two. That swing had one purpose and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. The one two lifted in the air to center Herrera on the run but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Throw won't get him. Dan, right here you the see a situation where no doubles defense can, comes back to bite you. As a pitcher, are you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, D-Roll. You're so concerned about it on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black glove that I never really ever turned around to even notice where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. And he gets ahead 0-1. Simmons at second, Cespedes at first, one gone. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Ready on 0 and 2. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Second baseman. 
the catcher, number 40. So two are gone in the Mets half of the eighth, and next is the catcher, Wilson Ramos. Here comes the first pitch. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Line to left. And this is hauled in on the run as he takes quite a tumble but hangs on and the inning is over. One more look at the circus catch in left field. Back with more of game four on MLB Network right after this. Your Luis Avilon is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Nick Williams field. is going to grab a Number bat five. here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they Real look for job. some insurance. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Two quick strikes and now the 0 2. Leader in there for the base hit. Dan, are you kidding me right there? I mean, that had to whistle past this guy's ear. That was a scary that moment. Was Dero, they call that the old chuck and duck, Dude. right? That was really close, and that's one of the things that most pitchers fear, that line drive that zips right by your head. Wow, that was awful close. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Nobody out, runner on first. Segura behind on a one and two count. I love a well executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws pitch. his good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. In previous matchups with Luis Avilan, he's one for five. Lofted in the air out toward right center, calling for it, Conforto. And that's the second out of the inning. Here's Bryce Harper now. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. First delivery to him on the way. Right there for strike one. Even though he let that one go, you know that's the kind of pitch he likes to take a big hack at. Not too many power hitters that don't like a stomach high fastball, so he's probably not throwing that one again. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. Williams, the runner at first with two gone. Lifted into the air out toward center field. Ligares is under it. And that ends the inning. Philly strand one. They lead it six to two. Ladies Jose Alvarez Jordan, comes on from the pen, hoping to finish now, this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 52. Okay. Digging in, Robinson oh, Cano. Oh, for two for him to this point. Off with the set and the pitch. The Ninth inning Robinson. underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. Ball one. Line towards center field. Herrera is there. One away. Up next for the bat. Coming to the plate now, the Dominic pitch. Smith. No okay. hits in three tries so okay. far. He struck out once. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line drive to center field. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. The Both of them hit on the one. absolute screws. One. One's right at one guy, and We're then gone. one's a single. Go figure.
Standing in now, Juan Ligares, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Runner at first here, one man out. A ball and two strikes now. Easy take there as the off speed pitch misses well inside. And he gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Segura is there, and there are two men gone now. Frazier will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. A runner on first with two away. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Really deceptive change up there. Very well executed. It looks like it just sort of dies when it gets close to the plate. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. To two balls and two strikes now. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. So a full count now. Yo, you don't want to get caught looking for the final out. That's a tough pitch to lay off. Impressive that he did. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The Mets down to their final strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. So the Phillies get the win they needed, and guys, we've got a deadlocked series with an impending game five to decide who moves on. And that's how it is. That's how the pendulum swings in the postseason, Matt. When one side has the edge, the other side says not so fast. No doubt about it, Dero. This is October baseball at its best. The series now will shift to another venue for what I expect to be an exciting finale. You won't want to miss this one.